In today's tutorial, I will walk through the steps of setting up Sauce Connect, which is a proxy that allows you to test your application on localhost or behind a firewall. First step is you'll need to download the Sauce Connect client, which can be found in the Sauce Labs UI under the Tunnel Proxies tab, as well as in our documentation. Depending on the environment you have, you need to install and download the appropriate client. I'm running on a Mac, so I will go ahead and download this one. You can also find the different binaries within the documentation page on Sauce Labs. Once the download is complete, you'll need to open your terminal and navigate to the directory containing the Sauce Connect binary. From there, you simply need to execute the command to run the Sauce Connect tunnel. This command will require use of your Sauce username as well as your Sauce access key both of which I have uh, exported in here as environment variables. You also need to select the data center that you're gonna be using for test, as well as assigning a name for your tunnel, for which I have named it sauce test. You, you can find a snippet of this command to copy paste within the sauce labs UI in the tunnel proxies tab. With the sauce connect CLI, there are additional flags you can add to your command for added functionality. I've added this shared all flag to this command, which will allow other members of my team and or organization to utilize the tunnel I'm creating. To find a full list of flags, you can refer to our documentation. Hit execute and watch as the tunnel is stood up. As soon as you see that you may start your test from the export here, as we see here we have right now, I can go back to the UI and we can see that the tunnel is now operational, ready for use. We can see that it has the tunnel name of sauce test that I provided and that it's also able to be shared so that other members of my team can use this tunnel. And you can go here, you can select a tunnel proxy for a live test. You can refer to the tunnel ID when you are running your automation and you can start testing right away. So thank you for watching. For more information, please refer to the documentation page at docs.saucelabs.com.